Slow motion videos are an awesome concept. Through them we get to see events that usually happen way too fast for our visual perception in a way that's both impressive and just plain cool. Specialized high-speed cameras have been around for a while, but now even the cameras on our smartphones have slow motion and even super slow motion modes. Hello everyone, I'm Vic with Phone Arena and today's video is about one of the least talked about features of modern smartphones. Slow-mo often remains neglected by reviewers and users alike. That's why we decided to take three popular phones and compare both the experience of shooting slow motion videos with them and the quality of said videos. Our lineup consists of Apple's iPhone 11 Pro Max, Google's Pixel 4 XL and Samsung's Galaxy S20 Ultra. To keep things fair, we shot at 240 frames per second and as far as slow motion goes, that's not a very high frame rate, but it's the highest that all three phones support and it comes with decent quality. When it comes to actually recording slow motion videos, things are quite simple. You select the slow motion mode in the camera app, record the video and then you can edit it and select the most interesting part of it that should be played in slow motion. The interface is similar on the three phones, but we had a few issues on the Samsung interface where menus kept disappearing while you were editing. But enough talking, let's see some slow motion videos. And we're starting off simple, just a baseball bouncing off a volleyball. The iPhone's video has a bit too much contrast to the point that it looks grainy. The colors in the Pixel 4 video look duller in comparison, but overall the quality is quite good. The S20 Ultra looks somewhat similar to the iPhone, but keeps things more balanced. We see that in this scene, although the balls were dropped from a low height and moving relatively slowly, the 240 frame per second mode is just not slow enough for an impressive shot. That's where we switched to super slow motion on the S20 Ultra at an impressive 960 FPS. The S20 Ultra is the only phone of these three that supports this mode. And while it's evident that this comes with an obvious reduction in quality, the footage looks epic like you would want it to look and it's definitely our favorite. This next scene is a good example of some cool shots you can take at even 240 FPS. The moment the balloon pops but the water keeps its shape before clashing with the plant and then spills over it is definitely something you cannot enjoy with regular video. The three phones are also a lot closer when it comes to quality, making it difficult to pick a winner. However, the Pixel's color balance gives it a slight edge in our book. Sound is also a big part of the slow motion experience. Hearing the splashing sounds slowed down and amplified definitely gives a dramatic feel to the video. Moving on to the third scene, we see very similar results in terms of video quality once again. While 240 frames per second isn't enough to capture the full glory of the exploding balloon, our canine participant in this scene shows that slow motion video can successfully be used to capture reactions to quick events which is just as entertaining. Once again, the real star of the show here is the 960 frame per second video from the S20 Ultra. With a frame rate four times higher, you can clearly see the balloon squishing before it disintegrates and the water splashing in a super epic way. Sure, at that resolution it won't look great on a 4K TV, but with bet most people would be fine with the compromise in quality in exchange for the awesome slow motion. As we move to the fourth scene and its slightly more challenging lighting conditions, the differences between the three phones get more obvious. This time however, the iPhone 11 Pro and the S20 Ultra seem to have done a better job, with the Pixel 4 XL footage being too soft and the colors a bit off. 
When it comes to motion capturing, the arrow is too quick for 240 FPS to show anything intriguing, but the same can't be said for the bow itself. The emotions the bow goes through after the launch give us a curious insight about the stresses it endures. This frame rate is also useful if you're working on your form, something my coworker George, who shot all this awesome footage, says he would benefit from. In our second archery scene, some extra sharpness is almost necessary. Wanting to capture a full arrow flight meant we couldn't have been picky about the background. As a result, the Galaxy S20 Ultra edges out the Pixel and the iPhone when it comes to the clarity of the video, making it slightly easier to track the arrow. Speaking of which, it's still moving too fast for 240 FPS, but at least you get to see it wobble after it hits the target. The 960 FPS footage, although grainier, does reveal that while flying, arrows are anything but straight and it is once again just way cooler. Our last scene is the only one we shot inside and you can tell even if you ignore the floor. Despite having three lights on in the room, the videos from the iPhone 11 Pro and the Galaxy S20 Ultra are darker beyond comfort. Additionally, on the iPhone video, there is a weird ghosting effect around some of the domino pieces even before they start falling. The speed of the action in this scene fits perfectly to 240 FPS and shows that these videos can make for some cool B-roll given the right lighting conditions. Lastly, the sound from all three is particularly satisfying in this video, although in the Pixel 1 it's slightly out of sync. So, all said and done, if there has to be one winner, which phone would it be? Comparing just the quality at 240 frames per second, the Pixel 4 XL and the Galaxy S20 Ultra are neck and neck for the first place. But since we're talking about slow motion, we can't ignore the fact that the Ultra has super slow motion that is four times slower than the other phones, and that is a huge advantage. We'll use it as a tiebreaker in this case, giving the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra the win. And that's all we have for you today. Thanks for sticking with us until the end. Tell us in the comments below what you think about slow motion videos in general and George's bow shooting skills. And don't hesitate to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to get the latest about tech from us. My name is Vic, this is Fawn Arena, and I'll talk to you in the next one.